Lester, wish you engineer. I trust you all had a really great uh, New Year and, uh, and Christmas celebration and uh, took some time out uh, to uh, treat yourself to whatever it is that you are interested in. Um, so here I am back in the saddle and uh, today what I want to talk about is uh, another, uh, another part of the series that I'm dealing with which is uh, towards better fight metrics. Um, so that's the title of the series. Essentially, I'm, I'm having a look at the various tests that, uh, that we have on offer at Martell and uh, uh, both tests that are industry standards and accepted within the uh, sports and fitness industry, but also tests that we've divide our, devised ourselves that, are, um, that, that we've had to devise ourselves because there hasn't been enough work done within the uh, martial arts, self-defense, combat industry to actually define um, key performance indicators and tests that can monitor those key performance indicators. So today what I thought we would have a look at is, uh, is the mid-thigh isometric pull, which, is, um, which has been used a lot in the industry lately to monitor overall strength in, uh, in ath athletes various types of athletes. I know that, they're, uh, that they use this particular test at the UFC Institute in the States as a monitor of, uh, or at least a key performance indicator of strength within their, uh, their, their combat athletes. So we have the same, so we use the same test in, um, um, at Martell to monitor uh, overall strength within, uh, within uh, the athletes that come here for testing. Um, as far as, as combat is concerned, um, you know, strength is an important characteristic. It's not the only characteristic, but it is, it is important to a certain extent, and it, it obviously really depends a lot on the type of, um, uh, the type of fighting predominantly that you would, uh, that you would be engaged in, or the, the, the way that your, that your style or your system uses um, uh, the resources at, uh, at your command. But it, it, it is nonetheless important. Um, and uh, traditionally, in, in, uh, in particular in medicine, what has been used as a measure of overall strength is the isometric grip strength test using uh, hand dynamometers. Um, now, we feel that that's a bit limiting because uh, uh, although grip strength is important, it's not necessarily an indicator of uh, or very accurate indicator of overall body strength. And we feel that the mid-thigh isometric pull is something that gives you a little bit of a better indication of overall, overall strength, because it involves the major muscle groups in the, in the body. So essentially what the, how, the, uh, how the test works, what a mid-thigh isometric pull is, is that a bar is essentially placed at uh, a mid point between the, um, the knee and the thigh, and at a point where the, the athlete has uh, their, their legs bent slightly, but it's not a, it's not a big bend, so it's not actually um, uh, essentially like a squat. It's actually very much in a, uh, from a, uh, almost a, uh, an upright standing position that the pull is, uh, is initiated. Um, the exercise can be performed using, uh, using wraps to aid with the grip, or not. It's, it's, the, it, it's, up to the, it's up to the athlete whether they'd like to do that or not. Um, so um, it is one of the tests that we, as I said, it's one of the tests that we, we have on offer at Martell. And today, just as, a, as an, an indication of how it gets performed and what kind of values um, we, we generate uh, f from our own particular system of training, my, both myself and my, my wife will be doing the test and um, and we'll see what the results look like so I'll, I'll see you in the uh, in the testing section okay so uh, excuse the shorts Queensland summer um, so what I've got here is I've got some chains attached to the base of the load cell uh, which are in turn attached to a short bar which is at the right height for an isometric uh, mid thigh pull. I'm going to. I'm wearing uh, wrist straps because uh, it's permissible for this 
for this test. I'm going to get onto the load cell and Cheryl is going to uh, zero this zero the load cell and then I'm going to pull from there and uh, we'll see we'll see what we can see. Give me some time to adjust myself here. Okay, so that's should be zero. That's zero. Okay, and pull. Pull, 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 go, 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 pull, 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 pull. Harder, 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 harder. You can do it. Harder, harder. Good. Okay, three, three, two, eight. Three, three, two, eight. And go. wait. Zero. Go. Pull. Harder. 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 You can do harder. You can do better. You can do better. <laughs> Welcome to the results and discussion section. So that was quite interesting. Um, some reasonable results from uh, both uh, both myself and from Sherilyn. Um, my peak force, uh, the peak force that I generated in the mid-thigh isometric pull was uh, 3,328 newtons, which is roughly four times my, my body weight, essentially. Um, and uh, Sherilyn generated 1,858 newtons, which was actually um, very respectable and um, approximately three times her body weight. Um, so those are fairly respectable values for the mid-thigh isometric pull. Having a look at some of the normative data for the, the, the test, and I'll leave a link in the description below to, to this data, which is available online. You can go and have a look yourself. Um, some tests were done on recreational athletes, um, and the, the peak forces that they generated uh, in the group of 26 uh, male athletes were in the region of 1,217 newtons uh, with a variance of about 183 newtons either way um, and it equated to about 1.3, 1 1.4 times um, body mass. Uh, the same test was performed on some soccer players, uh, once again 56 male uh, professional athletes athletes, uh, soccer players, um, the peak forces generated were in the region of 2,290 newtons with a variance of about 528 newtons, which equates roughly to um, somewhere in the region of 3.1 to 3.8 times uh, body mass. Um, and, and then a group of weightlifters, uh, both male and female, um, a total of seven weight, professional weightlifters were, uh, were also tested using the mid-thigh isometric pull and um, their peak force was in the region of uh, 5,102 newtons um, with a variance of 1,536 newtons. Quite a big variance there. Um, and their, um, uh, which was roughly about 5.2 Two to five point, uh, sorry, five point two to six times um, body weight, body mass. So, um, where do we sit on that scale? Well, for myself, I'm a little bit sort of midway between uh, uh, the soccer players and the weightlifters. Not quite a weightlifter, but um, but uh, certainly midway between the two. Um, and uh, Sherilyn is 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 roughly in the same kind of category as a as a soccer player. Of course, our training is not specifically strength related, although there are elements of strength training in our, um, in our training set. Um, I don't actually do exercises like, um, uh, for instance, like uh, heavy, um, heavy deadlifts or anything like that. Other, other athletes in my particular genre do that kind of exercise. I don't for my own particular reasons. But um, once again, still fairly reasonable values. Um, and uh, unfortunately, this is not really a test that, uh, that you can perform uh, for yourself um, unless you have the required equipment. So you would need to have access to a load cell and of course the software to 
monitor the output of the load cell. Um, but um, if you do have access to that, to that kind of equipment, then certainly it's something that you can you can look at doing and uh, and using that as one of the key performance indicators to monitor your progress. And of course, as I said earlier, um, the um, the importance of strength training. Um, you know, strength is strength is always going to be of some importance in uh, in a combat response, but it does depend on how the system or how your, your fighting system or your, your particular approach to combat actually utilizes strength. So it, um, it, it will be dependent on, how, on what you're training. Well, I hope you found, I hope you found it interesting and, and informative. If you, if you um, have any questions or if you want to make some observations, uh, feel free to leave some comments below. And if you like the video, please leave a like. And, uh, and subscribe even if you're feeling adventurous um, and, uh, and if you have any other ideas for future videos then please uh, again leave, some, leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll see you next time.